not a controversy in the virtual classroom. Tonight, a Calusa County High School student says his teacher threatened to kick him out of class, all for the President Trump flag that was hanging in his bedroom. It was visible on Zoom for his teacher and the rest of his class to see. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is live in Calusa County with the Trump flag debate. Quite the story, Laura. Yeah, that's right, and it's not uncommon to see President Trump's campaign flags or posters in Calusa, but what was a surprise for that teacher was seeing it in the back of her student's Zoom call. The student's parent says it's a moment that wasn't handled well at all. Calusa County is doing distance learning, which means students and teachers interacting over video call. Since school has begun, my son has had this flag, Trump flag, hanging in his background. But Tiffany says her son's high school chemistry teacher didn't approve of the political statement, asking him in the middle of class to get rid of it. You can sit up, remove the flag, or reposition your camera within the next 15 seconds, or I'm kicking you out of class. The teacher began to count. She didn't make it to 10 before Tiffany's son waved goodbye and exited the virtual classroom. She doesn't blame the teacher for the uncomfortable moment that's made its way to social media. She is a new teacher and it's a mistake. There hasn't really been any guidance given to her as a teacher from the school. Tiffany and her son blame the school board who they addressed Monday evening. They asked that the board clarify the code of conduct for virtual learning. And he just flat out told me no. We've just not been given any guidance. The Calusa County Code of Conduct includes a dress code that bans clothes with alcohol or drug symbols, sexual messages, profanity, or clothing that degrades any race. But nowhere in the 38-page document does it mention politics, elections, or campaigning. We don't even know if we're supposed to be following the on-campus handbook or if there's a new campus or a new handbook that's addressing the distance learning issues. And the student tells us that he's now uncomfortable going back to that teacher's classroom after what happened. And we did reach out to the superintendent as well as the principal and vice principal for Calusa High School. We are waiting to hear back from them. Yeah, quite the talk of the town there. Laura, thank you.